Catherine Haldis, Lee Trahey. <laughs> I have to get that in. And I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And you were born in Philadelphia? Yes, I was. So uh, can you tell me, just tell me the story, what you know about Conception Harbor and your father and his family and how they came to end up in Philadelphia? Well, I didn't know that much for a long time because they never really talked about it that much. But there was an awful lot of people coming to visit my mom and dad and they spoke with a funny accent, I thought. And I just thought they were all friends of the family. I knew they were iron workers, the men. And uh, they would come and they'd have their little dances in my father's house. And it was very enjoyable, but I really didn't know much about them until later in life. And then I started finding out about Newfoundland. My father started telling stories that sounded pretty bizarre to me. And uh, they used to tell the story about the root cellar over there, how my father locked Jack in the root cellar. And so I think he was a bit of a prankster or a little rough. but. Uh, he came to Philadelphia because he needed work at 18. And uh, the funny part is he lived in the pool where we're at now. And my mom lived right across the water, but she left here when she was about 10 years of age because her mother died when, a few years after she was born. And my grandfather, who was also a Trahey, am I okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was also a Trahey, and... Uh, your grand, didn't you start to get it so your grandfather was also Trahey? My grandfather, I have Trahey's on both sides of the family. So my grandfather, my mother's father, was John Trahey, and they lived across by Weaver's Pond. And uh, I don't even know if they knew each other, except we did find a picture later in life with both grandparents. And I said, oh, something here, you know, they knew each other. And uh, they moved to Philadelphia when my mother was 10. And my father did not come until he was 18. And he became an iron worker. In the meantime, my grand first grandfather, my mother's father, uh, married. And so they lived there in what was a section called Port Richmond, which most of the Newfoundlanders came there. And uh, I got to know an awful lot of them, and they were great people and they loved a good time. So, and they liked their little nip, you know. Um, I heard a very interesting story about when my father and his brother Jack were leaving Newfoundland to come to Philadelphia for work. And while they were on board, they got into a bit of a drinking and fighting and Jack decided he wasn't going to go to Philadelphia. He was jumping overboard and heading home. And unfortunately, he didn't make it. He died. He drowned. So I'm sure that was quite a story for his poor mother, you know. But my father never talked about it. I never knew about it until I was much, much older. And the same thing happened on my mother's side when her mother died and she came here. And of course, she then had a second mother we never knew that the second mother was not her biological mother, but... So, did your father talk about home? Oh, yes. He talked about home. He said that his, grand, his father, who I think was ill at that time, already had carved his coffin and it was sitting there waiting for him, which we thought was bizarre and we <laughs> didn't quite believe him. Because I seem to feel that new family nurse like a lot of people, kind of elaborate and make the story a little more interesting than it really is. I don't know. But, uh, and he talked about the music and the dancing and the, the good times they had. And, and he was, as I said, he was a little rough, I think, was growing up. You know, my friends and different neighbors would say, your mom was so refined, but your father was so rough. <laughs> What did she see in him? I said, well, he was tall and good looking. I guess that did it. <laughs> so, which happens in all families, right? 
what other family from Newfoundland in Philadelphia? Oh, tons of them. The Mahoney's, the Coles, the Kenny's, the Costellas, and they all came to our house. And every year they had a new founder ball. There were lots of Newfoundlanders, and they mostly lived in Port Richmond. And I wondered many times why well, my father ended up in South Philadelphia, which was a, an area that was notorious for Italians. So I found out later that it was because his three sisters who left Newfoundland before my father did and settled in South Philly because they all married and that's where they lived in South Philly. And I imagine it's because they also worked in areas right close to South Philly. Well, they were, the Newfoundlanders who lived in Philadelphia were, like most of the areas, they had the Italians, they had the Irish, they had the Polish, and uh, the Newfoundlanders loved to dance, so they were always getting together. My mom and dad and different ones would go to a place in Jersey called the Totem Pole, just so they could dance and hear the music, you know. But Norman Trahey, who was Jack's son, I think, I have it right. He played the squeeze box. So he was always coming down and there was always a party with the squeeze box. In Philadelphia, every year, they had a Newfoundland ball. And everyone that was a Newfoundlander went to it. And I don't know where it was held, a big hall somewhere, probably in Port Richmond. And uh, my mom and dad always went to it. And it was a real fun time with the music and the squeeze box and the fiddles. And uh, they carried on the traditions, you know. They ate the food that they made the breads, you know, that was always here in, in Newfoundland. And I grew up eating a duff every Christmas and I loved it. And I have not been able to make it the same way and I've tried. <laughs> so it's hard not to carry on those traditions. I even try to do it for my kids, you know, some of the things. And now that I've come back, I just love it here, you know, and appreciate the hard life they had, my father and mom, well, you know, it was not easy living here back in those years. So, and I think when my mother came back here and had her son Joseph here, it was very hard and she wasn't used to this hardship because she had left here early and in Philadelphia, they had washing machines. They were the old fashioned type. Things you didn't have here, you know. So uh, she was quite anxious to get back to Philadelphia. So she took her two sons and off she went. <laughs> and that was the end. She never came back, but my fa father did. He loved it here. So, so your father visited back to this Many times, yes, many times. And did you come with him? No, no. Never even thought of coming to Newfoundland until just recently, you know? I, you just sort of, I guess as you get towards the end of your life, you start to think, well, gee, I really didn't know much about this one or that one, and, you know, it's something you just want to have, that expression of where you came from. I don't know. That's how I feel anyway.